Well, you might be trick-or-treating tonight, perhaps dressing up as a ghost, or maybe even carving a pumpkin. But this year, there are some very spooky specimens on show when it comes to the traditional Halloween vegetable. And I'm joined now by farmer Christine. So tell me, how has the pumpkin harvest been overall this year? Well, we've had a really super crop. Um, lots of orange ones, white ones, yellow ones, and we've even had the odd green one which has just added really to the spookiness of Halloween, I think. They look very spooky. I love the green ones here. Are these an unusual pumpkin or how have you grown them to look like this? Well, because it's been so wet during the summer months, during the uh, growing of the pumpkin plants, the leaves have become so big because of the moisture in the soil that they actually covered the pumpkins. So these pumpkins didn't get a lot of sun so this is actually why they haven't turned orange. We were a little bit worried as to whether people would like the green-ish pumpkin, but they've gone down a real treat. There's been a pumpkin for everyone and we've actually enjoyed our green pumpkins. Been super season. Yeah, they look absolutely fantastic. And do you have any tips if there's anybody watching who thinks maybe they want to grow some pumpkins themselves? Keep the seeds if you've bought your pumpkin. Dry the seeds as much as you can. Try and keep them in somewhere that isn't too warm or obviously isn't too cold because you do want them to dry out properly and not go mouldy. And have a go next year. It's great fun. They're easy to grow, um, but don't put me out of business. Absolutely. <laughs> well, got some tips then if you do want to grow any pumpkins next year. And if you're going trick or treating tonight, there could be some spooky and atmospheric mist as well. Let's get all the details. Here's your weather forecast. Well, it has been dry this Halloween, but quite cloudy for some of us as well, more so for Jersey. You go and see some bright spells and actually some sunshine in Alderney. But let's see what's in stores we head into tonight and tomorrow. Well, the good news is it's going to be staying dry and we've still got very light winds, some mist and fog patches possible overnight, really from this evening and into tomorrow morning and looking like quite a cloudy start once again tomorrow. But there may be some brightness and some glimmers of sunshine later in the day. Once again, that's more like the further north you are so for Guernsey and for Alderney. Back to you tonight then it's staying dry so perfect trick-or-treating conditions with those light winds and quite atmospheric too we'll see some mist and some fog patches quite cloudy and quite overcast with minimum temperatures tonight of 10 and 11 degrees. So tomorrow it will be another dry day and looking like a grey and cloudy start for most of us really. Still light winds around a force 2 to a force 3 coming from an easterly direction and we could well get more brightness into the afternoon. The best of the sunshine will be later on, but once again, that's more likely if you are in Guernsey and in Alderney, Jersey is looking like quite a grey and overcast day once again. Let's get our times of high water then between 6 and 7 a.m., later on between 6 and 7 p.m., and the sea temperature just below 16 degrees. So heading into the weekend, we can still this, see that this area of high pressure is sitting over the UK and sitting over us in the Channel Islands. That's keeping at bay the wet weather. So when we look at the outlook, it's not looking too bad, fine and dry for the most part. And it's looking like we'll have some brighter conditions into the weekend, if a little cooler.